Hello guys, I should keep Blaze, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you an awesome video of the FX 8370 versus the Ryzen 5 1600. I must say too that the FX 8370 is at 4.4 GHz and the Ryzen 5 1600 is at 3.8 GHz, so both overclocked. I made this video because I saw many people on Facebook groups and some online forums and I saw them like, hey man, can you help me? I have like an FX, AMD FX, an old AMD FX and I want to know if it's, it is worth the upgrade or not worth the upgrade at all to the Ryzen uh, AM4 Ryzen. Blah, blah. Now about the benchmarking, I tested four, four in built benchmarks and two games on real gameplay per se. So the, the four in built benchmark games are Rise of the Tomb Raider, Rainbow Six Siege, Far Cry Primal and Shadow of War. The real gameplay benchmarks are only Rise of the Tomb Raider and Rainbow Six Siege. I tested two at three resolutions, 720p, 1080p and 1440p. And you guys ask one more time because there are always that guy who asks this. 720p? Why? Why 720p? Nobody plays at 720p unless you have a, a low-end GPU. And then, for you guys, I tell you, again and again, it's to simulate, or at least try, at least try, to simulate a higher-end GPU that I don't have, because I only have the mid-end GPU RX 480. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share the video if you can, because that helps a lot. You don't imagine, that helps a lot the channel and me, me as well. See you soon in the resume, don't miss it.
trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. Resuming guys, after you've watched the, the benchmarks and the real gameplays, what do you think? Don't forget to let me know on the comment section. Me, my opinion. Okay, it's good to upgrade, it's a nice upgrade, you have higher minimums in most cases and you have a smoother gameplay because of the higher minimums and you have the higher, the higher averages in some games. So I didn't test GTA 5. But I can tell you that on GTA 5, uh, bleh, fuck. I can tell you that on the GTA 5 the difference is way bigger. Some games prefer the, um, the frequency over the IPC, like the Rainbow Six Siege in some cases. But anyway, Ryzen 5 worth the upgrade or not? I say yes. I say yes because of features, because of power consumption, and because of higher minimum frame rates which impacts on the smoothness of the gameplay. So guys, one more time, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share the video, that helps a lot, a lot, a fucking lot, a fucking lot. And thanks for watching, see you in the next video.